Hi, I'm Chad, and we're here at Coda Rosa Winery, and I'm here with Joanna Clark, General Manager. We're here with Larry Sherritt Sr. Yep. And uh, at Sherritt Winery in South Jersey, and this is Barrel Trail Weekend. This is Barrel Trail Weekend. We'll right. be doing barrel tastings all afternoon. So Barrel Trail Weekend, this yeah. is when people get to come and not only sample all the great wines that are in bottle, right. but they get to sample something straight out of a barrel, exactly. right? Exactly. So today we have a uh, Chamberson and a Cab Franc that's coming right from the barrel. And that's a neat experience to be able to taste right. a wine that's maybe not quite matured yet. And yeah, most uh, people don't get that experience, so no, it's, it's not pretty at fun. All. So the, the different flavors that present themselves are unlike what they're going to get once they buy it in the store. What we do is teach a little bit about wine from a winemaker's perspective and have people taste wines from the barrel and the finished wine of the same type from the okay. bottle. So they get to understand what winemakers do when they're in the final stages of making wine. You mean wine, winemakers don't drink wine all day long? Not usually. Oh, okay. Only okay. if we want to work do we not drink. Got if it. we're playing, we can drink. All right. <laughs> what advice would you have for anybody who's tasting out of barrel mm -hmm. for what to expect or um, what kind of flavors they're going to taste or how to evaluate that even. You know, the art of wine itself is how the wine is constantly changing. And right. so even when you purchase a wine in a liquor store, obviously, assuming that the bottle is sealed appropriately, the wine is going to continue to age very well in the bottle. And so what you buy today, if you let it sit around and age for a little longer, you're mm -hmm. going to taste something very differently. So I think for... Um, uh, a customer, we would really emphasize the fact that you're appreciating the wine in a different stage than you're going to be able to buy it in the liquor store. And uh, while this may be a younger stage, it's really, you're going to get a lot of grape flavor from it. Mm -hmm. um, you may get a little bit more sweetness than you would had it been aged a little Completely bit longer. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so it's just a, to me, it's a very interesting thing. And when people come to wine tastings, especially for the first time, we always recommend, you know, try something different that you haven't tried before or maybe step out of your comfort zone a little because that's what a wine tasting is about. Right. You know, right. give your palate a, a full experience. Great. So we were talking earlier, you were saying today you're going to be pouring a uh, unoaked Chardonnay. Correct. And then a barrel reserve Chardonnay. Yeah. Um, and what, what's kind of your thinking behind that? Our thinking is that most people don't understand the difference in style between an unoaked, that is a wine made in stainless steel tank and one that's made in a barrel. So okay. we start off our barrel tasting with people tasting the unoaked version, right. and then one that's done entirely in barrel so they get to understand the difference between those two and what the effects are of barrel aging. So New Jersey wine, mm -hmm. Joanna, a lot, of, a lot of people are either don't know much about it or they're a little nervous about it, yeah. but I've been reading a lot of really great things. Um, Absolutely. And so I'm, I'm starting to get really excited about the direction that New Jersey's going. Yeah. Tell me from your perspective oh, yeah. what, what your thoughts are and, and what you see coming down the line. This is such a great time to be part of the wine region in New Jersey. What's happened in this region in New Jersey, as well as parts of Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, is that we realize that the soil and the climate here, excitingly enough, actually mirrors Bordeaux. Hmm. So people are taking a step back and saying, wow, really? Yeah. On the East Coast? Yeah. And um, so they've now named our region the Vintage Atlantic Wine Region. Okay. And so this wine region now is representative of both dry and sweet wines. Right. And they do a, we do a fantastic selection. And instead of competing, we're all sort of marketing together. Good. So nice. it's an exciting time to be part of the, the region here. Great. You've got a lot of great New Jersey grapes. Um, you know, we walked down in the vineyards earlier. You're producing a lot of a lot of nice wine from from things grown right here yes. on site, and you know, down the road kind of thing. We do a number of red uh, grapes, mm -hmm. um, and the Chamberson grape, which is a grape that grows extremely well on the East Coast, okay. is kind of a highlight of one of the reds that we make. Tell me a little bit more about Chamberson, because, like you said, that is kind of a unique thing to New Jersey or at least East Coast, and yes. I don't know if a lot of people know about that. So, Chamberson is a grape that comes from France. It's a hybrid that was created in France. It grows very well in the mid-Atlantic, okay. so it really grows well here. Um, because of the particular climate and soils and... I think it's a combination of those things. I think it's climate and soils. I think more climate. Okay. Um, when I've had them further south, they get a little too heavy. 
When I have them further north, they're actually very light. But when they're grown in this area, they make a very nice wine. Hmm. And I, I say it's like a, a Shiraz on steroids. Hmm. It's very flavorful, right. very aromatic, right. um, dark in color, and, but nice and soft in your mouth. Here, we strive to make wines that are varietally correct. Okay. That is, they taste like they should from that grape. Right. And then we make them in different styles. So the style of a barrel-aged Chardonnay is going to be smoother, heavier, and a little creamy. So what do, you, what do we have in our glasses here? Today we have one of our best-selling dry wines here, which is Super Tuscan. Um, this right. uh, is made with California You keep talking, I'm going to taste. Sure, please do. Uh, Super Tuscan is a blend of Sangiovese and Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it's outstanding. It goes very nicely with Italian food. Cota Rosa is actually named. It's means red tail in Italian for the red tail hawks that live in our vineyard. So we have a lot of Italian blends here. And this is a really nice blend that uh, yeah. just sells well, goes with a lot of different foods and is very easy drinking. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>